Hey everyone, welcome to today's core workout. So we're gonna start in a tabletop. So go ahead and stack your hands right underneath your shoulder blades, tuck your toes, and we're gonna take three rounds of breath. So go ahead and take a deep inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Pushing all the air out of your lungs. Nice deep inhale, cow. Looking at the sky. Exhale, cat. And one last round of breath, taking a nice deep inhale, cow. Pushing all that air out of your lungs. Exhale, cat. So we're gonna start with some standard leg raises just to wake up our glutes a little bit before we get into the core. So go ahead and pick up your left leg and we're just gonna make little raises towards the sky. And really focus on flexing that right heel. We're gonna have nice round butts for summer. <laughs> Give me five, four, three, two, one. And now we're just gonna extend our foot straight and then bring it back in. So we're working on our beautiful hamstrings along with beautiful glutes for summer. Nice job, everyone, keep it going. Give me five, Four, three, two, one. Go ahead and put your right leg down. We're gonna use our left leg this time, making the same raises towards the sky. Go ahead and flex your foot. Keep pulsing. Woo! I can't see you, but I know y'all are looking good. Give me five, four, three, two, one. And then go ahead and extend Extend that left foot, left leg out, and then bring it back in. Extend. You can't have abs without legs, people. And that's what I always say to all of my clients: is if you want abs, you got to work everything else too, because everything is connected. You can't have beautiful abs without having a beautiful butt. Give me five, four, three two, one. And now we're gonna go ahead and take our opposite leg and opposite knee. So starting with the right leg, so I want you to pick up your right leg and then bring your left arm up. And then we're just gonna pull in and extend back out. Taking an inhale as you reach, exhale as you come in. Keep breathing. Nice straight leg and straight arm. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Opposite side, go ahead and pick up your right arm, left leg, here we go. It's important to make sure that you keep breathing right through the exercise. Even though it gets tough, keep breathing. Almost there. Give me five, four, three, two, one. And then go ahead and meet me in a plank. So hands stacked right underneath your shoulder blades. Go ahead and bring your legs out. Hold your plank. I'm just gonna hold this here for a second or two, or maybe five, or 10, or 15. <laughs> I challenge you during this quarantine to see how long you can hold your plank for. Maybe we'll do that in another video. Okay, then come back down onto your forearm and then come back to plank and switch. I know this is a rough one, but this is so good for your core. Give me 15 seconds. Give me five, four, three, two more. Woo, last one. Woo, come down all the way onto your belly. Woo, we're gonna take a little break here. Well, not really. I want you to go ahead and flip over. Okay, go ahead and flip over onto your back 
Hands planted, roll all the way down. Whew. Should have brought my sunglasses. <laughs> go ahead and bring your hands behind your head, peel your shoulders off the mat, and go ahead and reach towards your knees for some crunches. You can go ahead and put your hands out too if that's helpful, or if you need some neck support, you can keep your hands behind your head. But everything should be coming from your core. Don't use your hands to pull your head up. I want you to use your abs to pull yourself up. Keep breathing. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. And now crisscross. So go ahead and bring your right knee in front of you at about a 95, 90 degree angle. Extend your left leg out. And then I want you to bring opposite shoulder to opposite knee. And really think about bringing your shoulder towards your knee and not your elbow because it gives you a deeper crunch in the abs. Keep going. Give me 10 more seconds. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Take a quick break. Bring your knees towards your chest. Breathe. Whew. Okay. So I forget what these are called, but I want you to go ahead and extend your arms out, toes pointed, and then I want, to, want you to bring everything in. Try to grab your toes if you can, and then come back down. This is a little Pilates action for you right here. If you haven't taken Cat's Pilates class, highly recommend it. Whew. She'll get you corn lean, quarantine lean, corn lean, whatever that is. She'll get you there. Whew. Give me 10 more seconds. Come on, we're almost there. Give me five, four, give me three, two, and one. Quick break. I know working the abs is killer, but so important for every modality of fitness. Core is in everything. It's in boxing, it's in hit, it's in cycling, Pilates, yoga. Core is everything. You should always be working on your core. Even if you've got a little bit of pooch, which I do, especially from all the cookies I've been eating since this quarantine started, your core is still hiding in there. So don't think just because you got a little fluff means that you don't have a core. You do. Your core is in there for sure. <laughs> okay, jackknives. So I want you to read opposite foot to opposite hand. So let's start with your right foot. So go ahead and pick up your right foot, left arm, and switch. Keeping your legs as straight as you can not bringing them down all the way to the floor to protect your lower back. So you want to keep your lower back pressed against the mat or your kitchen floor, kitchen floor, your living room floor, your bedroom floor, wherever you're at. 15 seconds. Keep going. Five. Whew, four. Give me three, almost there, two, and one. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Nice job, you guys. So I want you to give me one more exercise, okay? I just saw this one on Instagram, so we have to try it, and then we're done. So I want you to go ahead and bring your legs out, like making a V, another Pilates move for you. And then I want you to bring your hands together, and these are gonna be star crunches. So go ahead and bring your abs up and down. So your hands should be making like a, like a point, I guess. So you do kind of look like a star doing crunches. So we're all stars here, you guys. Woo! 
15 seconds. Exhale as you come up. Almost there, five, four, three, last two, Whew. one. Whew. Bring your knees in, give yourself a nice big hug. Roll yourself up. Whew. Thank you guys for joining me on today's quick ab workout. My name is Christina and I'll see you on my next video.